Okay, this will be another short video uh, basically showing the difference between an S-curve and a uh, trapezoid. So uh, again with this trapezoid, uh, we want to talk about and make sure we are acknowledging the fact that the uh, acceleration jerk has a great factor in the um, speed um, or the, the acceleration and deceleration of a servo. The, uh, the best illustration of this is an MAM. Um, and I'll show you that because it, the MAM instruction will tell you're going to move to a set position and then you're going to stop, right? So you're telling the, the servo to start and then stop. So the acceleration that you have in here and the acceleration jerks um, and deceleration jerks are going to be used, used to the full extent. So in the current profile that I have in here, um, the decel jerk and the XL jerk are set to 25. The XL rate, um, I can change that, right? That XL rate is, I'm, I'm going to put it at 1,000. Um, and then we'll, we'll show that being run. Okay, so what I'll do now, um, and again, this is an S-curve, right? And then I have my acceleration jerk, deceleration jerk at 25. So it's, it's pretty low. So that... You, this is set the same way we've been setting everything else, so you would suspect that it would react the same, right? But I want to show you the actual effect of a uh, XL jerk and a D-cell jerk. So I'm going to initiate the move, and I'm going to come over here to my trend, and you see that the trend came in, and you had a nice ex smooth acceleration, deceleration, right? So now let's do the same thing. And let's uh, let's change the XL jerk and decel jerk. Let's put it down to 10. Now we're not going to mess with the XL rate or anything. All we're going to do is mess with the XL jerk and decel jerk. So I want to I want to actually you know show you the effect of this. That this this is definitely part of the equation. Okay, so you see how that had a lot more. Uh, had a lot longer acceleration, a lot longer deceleration. Now, let's let's prove that out even further. So now let's take that number two, for instance, let's take it to 250, All right? So now we have our XL jerk and our decel jerk at 250. So we we just moved it. Uh, basically 25 times what it used to be. So this should this should really affect, highly affect the uh, the trend. Right, so you see how short that S-curve was? And it's now it's over. So you see how short the S-curve was and the only thing we changed again was the uh, acceleration, deceleration jerk. We didn't we didn't mess with the XL rate or the D cell rate, right? So now that we've talked about that, and the don't get me wrong, the XL and D cell will affect um, the S curve, but not nearly as highly as the uh, XL and D cell jerk. So let's just say, for instance, um, and I'll, I'll I'll throw an extreme in here that we you will never probably see. Okay, so let's do this. Actually, let's keep that just like it is. And I'll I'll let you see that. So that we, we didn't mess with the S curve here, or we didn't. We, I'm sorry, we didn't mess with the XL jerk, D cell jerk. We messed with the uh, XL rate and the D cell rate. So now we still did affect. We still did affect the um, movement, right? We still did affect the way it starts and the way it stopped. Except you didn't see such an S curve in here because the S curve itself was really, really sharp. So the S curve. Look at the the at the acceleration jerk and the deceleration jerk, almost like as sharp as. The closer you get to, um, you know, like being a thousand or something of that nature, then 
the closer you get to being um, you being as sharp as as a trapezoid. So now let's just throw it in a trapezoid. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. Throw it in a trapezoid. I'm going to show you the exact same thing. So now we don't have an XL jerk, D cell jerk at all. So you see that profile looked just about the same. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. Except let's lower, oh, I'm sorry. Let's take this to 100. This to 100. Now let's toggle it. So the only thing we did was change the acceleration. So you see how that, that highly affected it? And all we did was change the acceleration. So you see how dominant the acceleration is in a trapezoid and how not so dominant it is in an S-curve. So now let's do that same profile in an S-curve. So granted, we're using a 100 for our XL-D XL cell and our XL-D cell jerk is 100 or 250. So you see we still, but we did have more of an S curve in that one. Because the S curve happens when you slow down and when you speed up, right? So in the, uh, in the, the speed change. So now let's change the, the XL, XL jerk and D-cell jerk to 50. And we'll see the exact difference in that. Okay, so now let's do that. So you see that now we re, we starting to we're starting to affect the acceleration deceleration a lot more, and the S curve is a lot more drawn out because that's that's really where you're, you're what you're changing because um, you have a new dynamic inside the equation to actually do, tell your servo to do you know go to that speed is because the S curve incorporates the um, XL jerk and decel jerk. And again, the lower the numbers you have, the longer it's going to take to accelerate or decelerate. Now, on the counter side to that, if we looked at a jog command, and our jog command, again, our jog command, so let me jog this, I'll show you. Okay, so we have a nice smooth S curve, but now on a jog if we do a stop we're going to stop and we're not going to have that nice stop transition and that's because a jog is not a start and stop command you have to actually have a separate stop command so in other words this jog is just telling it to start telling the servo to start it's not commanding it to stop or anything like that the stop command is, is is done basically in a separate instruction. So depending upon how you have this instruction set up, that's how the stop profile will be. So I wanted to kind of I wanted to illustrate the separation in an MAM and a jog. Is the jog is just a start, the MAM is a start and a stop. So you this is why I chose this to to show you the difference in the uh, how to how to use an S curve a little bit better because um, the MAM actually shows a start command and a stop command based upon you hitting the target position right okay so um, hopefully that cleared up a lot to do with um, you know you know how to how to adjust the S curve um, the difference in trapezoid and S curve and kind of showed you uh, you know a couple of key key components in that so um, with that said, I just want to kind of wrap that up and uh, hopefully that, that kind of made some ties with you and kind of help you understand the difference in instructions as well. So we'll just keep on with the training and I uh, hope everything is going well. And again, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me.